Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to this moment. Welcome to the high life. Today I'm going to be sharing a bit about Heaven's Mana. This is a light, functional, and natural high that the avatar was meant to function in and with. It's uh, most effortless and natural in small children. I want to share a little bit about how you can begin to tap into this as your baseline high for the avatar and some hindrances that uh, have kept you from experiencing this on the most daily basis. The reason why most people aren't experiencing a natural high and they go in pursuit of a high uh, via alcohol or uh, you know other intoxicants, drugs, and whatever, um, is because their brain has slowly stopped producing the amount of dopamine and anamides and other cannabinoids or uh, neuroreceptors that um, translate a high to your body and mind. And these areas, these highs, actually cause your mind to enter into a timeless state. They um, help you enter into what we call flow state, where the body is just flowing effortlessly and naturally, able to uh, be highly productive. Now, I know you might associate a high with anti-production or being uh, hindering your production at work or... Um, even sexually or whatever, but the truth is your natural high can heighten the experiences you're having and um, increase or expand the amount of production that the body is capable of. So what's happening is there's this cannabinoid receptor in your brain, this neuroreceptor, and uh, THC, the one of the primary compounds in marijuana actually mimics anandamide, which uh, is natural to your brain, and it mimics it and it comes in and it binds to those cannabinoid receptors that are responsible for time management or the feelings of this is where you get when you get a head high, you get high, you get kind of timeless. This is your normal state, you are not meant to live on a linear timeline, you are meant to live in the timeless mind. However, you don't have to. Marijuana, THC, CBDs, all that stuff is actually, I mean, it can be beautiful. It's plant life. Kind of blows my mind that we've been as afraid of plants for so long. But that's for maybe another time. Uh, your brain naturally produces and has all of these uh, cannabinoid receptors that are meant to help produce oxytocin and the, the love hormone and dopamine and all of these beautiful uh, chemicals through your brain that were meant to help you feel good and happy and satisfied and joyous and, uh, and so today i just want to talk to you about have what I call, what I call Heaven's Mana. Heaven's Mana is a baseline high that can really only be experienced perpetually as you program your subconscious to be more present. As long as the subconscious is projecting from past memories into a non-existent future, it won't be your baseline high. You'll still experience the ups and downs, but, but at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you how you can begin to uh, tap into heaven's mana so and it will actually help you uh, if you do practice this long enough you'll actually not only experience the high that i'm talking about but you'll, it'll actually help you uh, let go of anxiety and fear and depression and some of these other things that might have haunted you uh, so heaven's mana is a very uh, functional high a very mellow high it um 
it feels uh, a light euphoric sense, a light head high, not a, a, not a head high that um, keeps you from being mobile or being able to do things functional and it doesn't mess with your coordination a whole lot. I think when you first start experiencing Heaven's Man, it will mess with your coordination at first. But um, over after you experience it for a while, it will slow down and your coordination will be fine. And uh, it, it ends up becoming just a really nice, mellow baseline high. If you just feel good. And it mellows you out. It calms you down. It's kind of like the reaction of CBD in your system. It really just brings uh, a real feeling of health and wellness and goodness to your body and mind. It also is uh, super um, uh, good at bringing you into what I would call baseline flow state or a very uh, uh, timid flow state. A timid, I don't know that's the right word for it, but a flow state in which you're able to focus more intently. So it doesn't actually ruin your focus or hinder your focus. You're actually able to, if you're able to narrow in on one task, you're able to really focus in on that task and enjoy it and knock things out and really get narrowed in. And it opens up a creative world to you. So for artists and uh, movers of uh, life artists of all kinds, this really opens up a creative state of consciousness. So let's just chat a little bit about, um, I've been experiencing this for a long, long time, this baseline high. And uh, again, I call it heaven's manna because it comes, it comes to you, it can come to you every morning. When you, moment you wake up, you can begin to experience this. This is, I started calling it heaven's manna because the moment I woke up, I experienced this manna and it would just sustain me through the whole day. And there have really been no moments where I bitched and whined and complained like the Israelites did in the desert. Some of you might understand that reference, but um, but there are higher, there are uh, crazier highs and more experiences. I'll talk to you about it another time. But this heavens man is really a sustainable uh, experience, even for you if you just tap practice some of the practices I'm going to share with you in a minute. You'll begin to experience it, and this um, experience will be good for a couple of hours. You'll you'll experience a nice mellow high, functional high for several hours, and then you can just practice again and slip back in, experience more. Eventually, if you practice this enough, it becomes a sustainable, perpetual high. Your base, it can really become your baseline high. So a little bit about how you can begin to tap into Heaven's Mana. Stay tuned to the very end because you're going to want to get all these, all this info. Start by closing your eyes and on every in-breath, this is a breathing exercise, on every in-breath, I want you to bring your eyes up, focus your eyes kind of into your third eye, uh, into that cerebral cortex, or, um, uh, yeah, just right there, into the, not cross eye, but into your forehead. As you breathe in, bring your eyes up into your forehead, breathe in through your nose deeply, and you're going to hold at the top of the breath, and then you're going to relax your eyes, and breathe out gently through your nose and hold at the bottom. Now the secret is as you breathe in, feel the oxygen come in, feel the air come in, this Zoe, this life-giving force come in up in through your brain where your eyes are focused and then in around circulating through your body and then back out into the world. So there's this nice flow in and out and it's so effortless. As you breathe in, You'll, one of the, and this little mantra that I'm going to give you is key for you to begin to program your subconscious. Do this first thing in the morning. If you're going to do it at all, do it first thing in the morning and right when you, before you go to sleep at night. Because you're going to re start reprogramming your subconscious away from worry, away from fear, and away from uh, discursive thoughts that are actually hindering the high. So one of the greatest hindrances to the high is you get focused on things you have to do. I got to do this and I got to do that. And this is what's next on my list. And when your mind is spread out like that, it actually is hindering the high. The reason why heaven's man is most natural in small children is because they have not yet developed this brain that is trying to multitask and do a bunch of different things all at one time. The heaven's man sustains the mind sustains the body and is really beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. The mantra is going to be as you breathe in, 
everything that I have need of, I have in this moment. So with every in-breath, everything that I have need of, I have in this moment. Hold at the top, relax your eyes, breathe out through your nose. And as you breathe out through your nose, your mantra, and again, this is stuff that you're going to be saying in your mind. I have no need to know, I don't need to know anything or understand anything. And so what we're doing is we're programming the subconscious to let go of the need to know, the need to understand, and this need for things in general. Everything I have need of, I have in this moment, I, I don't need to know or understand anything. And so we're really, this is a programming the subconscious to be more present in this moment, to touch the moment and the current task that you're performing more deeply and more intimately. You're going to do this if you uh, practice this enough. After about 30 days, you should practice this third, at least 30 days straight, morning and night, for about 10 minute sessions. And if you do this for about 30 days, I want you to, to do this for about 30 days. And at first, you might not feel this head high that I'm talking about, this high, because it's very mellow, it's very light. But after you practice for about 30 days, you'll begin to feel, and it doesn't normally take 30 days to begin to experience it. Typically within a week, you'll begin to experience the high. More often than not, you're not experiencing the high because it's so light and so mellow, you're not used to the feeling. So it's not an extreme head high. It's more of a really light, mellow head high. And it feels very wonderful and very euphoric, but it's light and it's good. It's not burdensome and it doesn't mess you up, okay? So practice 10 minutes morning, 10 minutes at night. You're doing this for 30 days for the express purpose of reprogramming the subconscious. After about 30 days, your subconscious should be reprogrammed to stop being so active. You should start to notice more spaciousness between your thoughts and more time of relaxation. Your mind should feel more relaxed. The people around you will probably notice you're a little bit more chill and you should notice a nice head high you, you should, you, and uh, a nice relaxed posture. After that, you really don't need to practice the mantra. You still can. If you feel worry, if you feel fear, if you feel anything like that rise up in your mind, still practice the mantra. But you could literally just take three deep breaths. And you'll just practice Heaven's Man with the, the, the deep breath. If you're going through your day and at any point during your day you feel worried or you feel afraid or you feel like uh, stressed, stop. And take three deep breaths. Again, eyes up, hold, relax the eyes down, and you'll start to relax again. And the stress that you were feeling will start to dissipate. This is one of the huge key elements to beginning to reprogram or activate the avatar. Your avatar was meant to be high, to experience life and joy and happiness and love and bliss. This is your natural state. You might have forgotten this natural state, or maybe you're experiencing kind of ups and downs. Some moments are high and happy and other moments are sad and depressed and worried and fearful. That's not your natural state. That is the result of years and years of programming, cultural, societal uh, programming of your mind. And so I want to just reintroduce you and begin to activate this heaven's manna. The more that you touch it will part, begin to start reactivating or activating your avatar to begin to touch the moment deeply and to enjoy life in general. I love you. Check out uh, the next Daily Trip video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play. Mm -hmm.